Millions of Americans use smartphone apps to monitor their health and fitness. Those apps collect personal information, but the seemingly private details may be sold to advertisers and other companies. Kalia Barnes is with the Electronic Privacy Information Center. Good morning. Good morning. So is this surprising to you that all this information is being sold? As Isn't that sort of what happens on the internet? It's a, a lot of times we are seeing this with a lot of apps, but what we're finding is that consumers simply did not expect that their sensitive medical information would be sold or disclosed to third parties without their consent. Can they do something about it? Or without their knowledge. Well, unfortunately, it's a largely unregulated market. However, consumers can take their offline common sense and apply it to the online world. You wouldn't just share your sensitive medical information with anyone on the street, and the same can be said about these apps. Moreover, consumers should delete the information once you're done with the app. So once you've achieved that fitness goal, you've cured that common cold, go celebrate and then delete that information from the app or delete the app itself. I think this will be surprising to a lot of people who use apps to insert a lot of personal data. People who are trying to lose weight, they put what they're eating, how much they weigh, how much they're exercising. Who are they selling that data to? Well, advertisers are increasingly interested in that information. They want to say, okay, well, you're afflicted with a certain illness, so maybe we can sell you information concerning medicine. And moreover, the apps are getting increasingly sensitive. So not just exercise and tracking what you're eating, but their pregnancy trackers are mm -hmm. apps that help individuals cope with alcoholism or anxiety issues and other sensitive information. Very sensitive information. Is there any responsibility to advise people when you buy these that this could be happening? Well, there, there absolutely is, but what's interesting is a lot of these apps are free, and so consumers should just read the, the privacy policies because you know what? Free is actually coming at a cost, and it's coming at the cost of your private information. So consumers should read the privacy policies, do a gut check. If they're asking for access yeah. to your social media profile, it's because they intend to broadcast it on social media. But, Kalia, nobody you know reads the privacy thing. It's too long. You just hit the I agree <laughs> thing, you know? Yes, exactly. <laughs> Everybody does it. If you have a paid app, a fitness, app, a health app, does that provide you more privacy? Recent reports are showing that it does pro provide additional privacy, but not the type that consumers expect. Unfortunately, still information is being disclosed, uh, and sensitive information that consumers do not expect to be disclosed. That's too bad, because a lot of these apps are very helpful in some ways. Kalia Barnes, thank you. Good to see you. Thank you.